Hey guys, what's the crack? Welcome back to the channel. So we're back out on Loch Derg today. We're going to be trolling and spinning for trout. That's the plan anyway. We're going to do our best to get a few fish in the boat. Now with the weather condition today, as you can see in the background, it's really overcast. Um, it's supposed to be drizzling and a small bit of wind, which is actually perfect for trout fishing. Um, that's not always the way it works, but fingers crossed now we get a few. I have a few ideas in mind, a few things I want to try today. I'm going to do a bit of spinning, a bit of trolling. Um, yeah, fingers crossed now we get a few fish. So when I get out on the lake, I'm going to talk you through the setups. Um, I'm going to talk you through a bit of the plan that I have for today's fishing. I'm just turning on the fish finder, getting everything working. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed now we get a few fish. Enjoy today's video. Right, so let's turn this bus around. And we'll get out on the lake. Okay, so guys, we're out on the lake now. Um, I just brought two boxes with me today, full of trout wobblers. I'm gonna be fishing the wobblers today, um, small little jerk baits and minnow style lures. So I'm gonna show you the two lures I'm gonna start off with. Um, there was a bit of a cold snap last night, so hopefully that will have the, the trout active. Um, you never know, there was a lot of rain this week. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully now we get a few fish. I'm gonna start off by fishing two lures that are gonna go slightly deeper than the rest of them. So first of all, on one rod, I'm gonna be using a Rapala X-Rap. So they're a bit of a heavier Rapala, and there's a bit more weight to them, and there's a deeper bill on them. So they'll go a little bit deeper than the, the standard countdowns. And, and on the second rod, I'm gonna use a Countdown Elite. So I'm gonna speed up, send it down to them a little bit faster, and speed up, see if there's any more Let's see if there's any active fish early in the morning. Fingers crossed now there is. If not, we'll mix it up throughout the day and see what they want. We'll get them to bite something anyway. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So I'll get these other rods and we'll get them out. Right, so as always, the Robinson Tosito rods, 6 to 20 gram, available from Wild Hunter. We're starting to fall up. These trout rods are really nice. Have them tied up with a strap just to keep things together. Really nice rods. I'm fishing that with a diamond inch at two and a half thousand size reel. I'll leave a link in the comments, guys, um, or in the description of the video of uh, where to get the rod. It's available for Wild Hunter. Really nice rod. As you can see in the last video, it handles a big pike very well. On the off chance you do get a big pike. That's some 0.1 braid, so it's rated to about 14, 15 pound. Perfect for trout fishing. Um, trolling lures, jigging lures. Yeah, so that's one rod. And on the second rod, same thing, exact same rod, just a little bit longer, and um, they're about eight foot long. So on the reel for this one, I'm using a Robinson Suzuka, same braid, exact same setup. So I get the lures on and get them out. It's fingers crossed that we meet a few fish. All right, so I got loads of lads asking what rod holders am I using. So these are Scotty rod holders, power lock. Um, I bring them home with me and put them back in the boat and I'm going, you know, so nobody can mess with them. So all they do is they pop in like that, really secure rod holders I wouldn't use anything else and um, these are the orcas so they pop in like that I have the mounts on the boat already just screwed in to the timbers so yeah that's as simple as that rod holders in the boat ready to go right so the wind is after picking up but I don't mind that too much let's get the lures out see what we can find okay guys fish on first fish of the day doesn't feel massive, but it feels like a fish anyway. It took it on the twitch. Okay, I mean, that's not a bad fish. Lovely, into the net. First fish. Okay, so guys, there he is, first trout of the day. Lovely little fish, nice and silver. He's not massive though, he's only about 34 centimeters. So I'm gonna get him back. Lovely little fish. See you later, buddy. On he goes. All right, so that's a good start. Let's get the lures back out. There could be a feeding spell. Let's waste no time. Okay, guys, fish on. This one feels better. Or else he's just hooked badly. Feels good. Oh, it feels like a really nice fish. I hope this is a trout. I'm praying this is a trout. He had a really good bang. I was holding the rod. Please let this be a trout. I'm 
Korean it is. Have my back turned to the wave now, so I, it's a bit calmer here. It's a nice one. I've seen it. Could be 50 centimeters. Let's see if we can get him up. What a fish! Yes. Oh yes, yes, what a fish. <laughs> oh, what a fish. Oh lads, what a fish. <laughs> yes. Two fish in the boat at nine o'clock in the morning and that one is absolutely savage. Um, I'm gonna get, uh, it's just resting in the net at the minute. I'm gonna get it unhooked and uh, we'll get it released as soon as possible. So two seconds, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, what a fish. 50 centimeters on the button. It's a cockfish, you can see by the nose on it. Savage, savage fish. I'm so buzzing with this, lads. I had a slow start to the trout season. We're after making a mark slowly. It's no monster by all means, but it's a nice fish. It's in really good condition. Look at that beauty. She is gorgeous. Right, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna get her back in the water. Oh guys, safely released. Absolutely buzzing. Such a cool fish to get. It's actually quite turning and quite uh, rough out here. Um, I got the fish on the twitch, bang, the rod absolutely bent over in my hand. Got the blood pumping anyway, I'm still a bit shaking. But um, well, it's a big wave. <laughs> so excuse me for a minute lads, I'm gonna turn the boat around, get myself organized. We'll get back out fishing. Maybe there's a few more trout there for us. So good luck, let's see what happens. Okay guys, just gonna get the lures back out. See what we can find. No. Get this rod out as well. Oh, good stuff. Okay guys, fish on again. Feels like a good fish. I'm having to sit down to play this fish because the waves are massive. <laughs> just want to be safe. So I'm just going to get into the back of the boat here and we'll, we'll try land him. I have the other rod out, so I'm hoping the lines won't get tangled. Feels like a good fish again. This is a good fish. Let's see if we can get him in. Oh, that's a savage fish again. Come on. Yes. There we go. Lure came out in the net. Oh, lads, look at this. I am buzzing. Another bee beauty of a trout. This one's more golden than the other one. This one doesn't have the same nose as the other one. And this one's 48 centimeters. Lovely fish. I had to guesstimate a weight. It's, it's over three pound anyway. Probably between three and four pound. Probably closer to four pound. But uh, here she is. Yeah, she is stunning. Look at that head. I absolutely love trout fishing for this reason alone. So let's get this beauty released. Look at that. That's. Uh, there she goes. Good thing about catch and release, you get to see him swimming off. Absolutely class. Fish on, guys. Feels pretty big. Nearly took all the line off the spool. I'd say it's pretty big, whatever it is. Off the engine. See if we can get this in. Could it be another big trout? Would we be that lucky? It's feeling heavy, it could be a pike. Hopefully it's not. Oh, it's giving me a good fight anyway. 
it absolutely pulled the line off the spool and I had it fairly tight. That's what made me think it was a pike or it could be a big trout. Oh my god, it's a big trout. Oh my god, it's massive. I'm in such a bad tangle here guys. And I hook, he's barely hooked. If I can get him into the net. Oh my god. I gotta lose this fish. Oh I lost him. Oh my god. I can't even hide my my sadness. It's just pure sadness what's after happening there. That was my biggest ever trout, easily. It was a ferox. Oh, the closer it got, the bigger it got. He had a belly like a pig. Oh, it was over 10 pound anyway, easily just looking at it beside the boat. I had it in the net twice. It's blowing a gale here, so it's really hard to manage a lake boat. Um, I have two rods out when I'm trolling, and that ferox swam straight across the right-hand rod. Oh, he left me in such a tangle when he came to the boat. I had him in the net. He swam out of the net. I couldn't lift the net. It got tangled. Everything went wrong there. Um, that fish was just so big and powerful. Oh, I'm so sickened. I can't even hide it for the camera. I'm not gonna hide any emotion here. That was just so annoying. That fish was easily between 70 and 80 centimeters. It was it was big like, you know. Oh, so sickened. And it left me in a big tangle is after eating, losing about 30 or 40 meters of braid because I had to cut off the knots. I hopefully have enough to stay fishing now. Um, Oh, I'm so sick and lads, I'm not even going to hide it. This is what the channel's all about. You'll, show, you'll see the emotion, the good, the bad, the ugly. But um, we've, we've three trout so far after losing a PB, but look, we might get it again. There's a boat beside me, it's after hooking a big fish. Hopefully they didn't catch the same fish, now I'll be crying. But um, yeah, it was a big fish. I, I had to cut off the end of the clip there because I did some serious cursing. <laughs> and there's kids watching this video, so obviously I'm not going to show that. But um, look, I'll, I'll get the rigs back together. Um, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I've only been fishing for an hour. So fingers crossed now we might be able to hook something similar size or I'm not gonna sleep for a week. <laughs> so <laughs> let's back, get back fishing. Okay, that was a bit upsetting. So we're gonna get the lures back out and uh, try to get over that. So we'll see, see what happens. Hey guys, fish on. It's been a bit of oh, an hour since the last bite. So it's nice to get hit again. Doesn't feel big at all. But uh, always nice to get a hit. Oh, here it comes out. That's grand trout. We won't lose this one anyway. Oh, into the net. I need to improve my netting skills. I'm losing a lot of big fish lately. <laughs> I'm going to get a slate in the comments of this video, but look, these things happen, lads. It's all a catch and release anyway, so it doesn't make a difference to me. Now, guys, there he is. Only a small guy. He used 33, 34 centimeters. So we're getting back. See you later, buddy. Back he goes. So cool to see him baiting off. <laughs> back on his travel. Okay, so guys, fishing has gone quiet for the last 30 minutes, haven't had a touch. Uh, the wind is after dying down, which really does ruin trout fishing when you're using lures anyway. You need a bit of wind. I'm just gonna change the lures. Um, try a few different lures. I wanna try some of these new Shek Wobbers from uh, Wild Hunter as well. I love trying different lures when I'm out. Uh, box full of lures, there's no point leaving on the same lure all day, you know? So, what will we try? If I can get him out of the thing. All the, these little trowel lures, even if, though they're in little com compartments, I always get them tangled. I know, it's, it's not a bad tangle or anything like that, but the little tiny treble hooks, they always get wrapped up in each other. So, got loads of these little Czech handmade wobblers. They're the Wild Hunter ones, only available. So, 
what I'll do, I'll try all different colours. I'll start up with this guy, because he's got a nice little bit of pink on the belly. I'm going to be twitching him. That's him there. Um, I have a big rappel on the other rod, and the off chance we pick up another ferox. We might get lucky. So it's nice to mix it up. So we'll try this lure and see how we get on. Guys, I don't believe it. The trout just grabbed the lure right behind the boat. It's a nice trout as well. I mean, he grabbed it three meters behind the boat. That is crazy. I can't believe that's ever happened. Engine fully going, just letting the lure out and two, two or three meters behind the boat. <laughs> we have a nice trout. How bad is that? Lovely stuff. Right, we'll get one hooked and we'll show you. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. So it's gone flat cam here, as you can see in the background. I'm getting one or two hits every now and again off small trout. So I was just changing the lure. I put on a, a roach uh, colored Rapala X-Rap um, countdown, like a seven centimeter size. Um, I was just letting it out behind the boat. Um, literally, probably three meters behind the boat. I felt a bang. Trout latched onto it, like just behind the boat in about 15 to 20 foot of water. And you hear lads saying, oh, a trout will be put off by the outboard. I'm going to be trolling around the trolling motors and trying to keep super quiet. But it's not really the effect that I've had. I'm, like it's flat cam conditions here now. You'd imagine they'd be so skittish. Um, but no, once they're feeding and they're in that hunting mode, they will come right beside the boat to hit lower, even with the outboard uh, starting. So that's just something I'll share with the channel. It's cool, something that's happened to me a few times now, um, especially with pike as well, but trout, it, they do take it as well, right behind the boat. See, these trout are switched on, you know, they're, they're looking at the, the wash that gets washed off the back of an outboard, and that'll be startling all the little bait fish and stuff, you know, it'll be disorientating them. And the trout hone in on that, you know, they'll be, they'll be follow, following around the, the bubble trail on the back of your boat, on the outboard. And uh, they'll be literally hunting off the back of your boat. So it's, it's, it's no harm just to flick a lure behind your boat every now and again. Because the trout do be keeping an eye and stuff like that. So I'm going to get this guy unhooked. He's just resting in the net there now. I'm, I'll show you and we'll get him released. Okay, so guys, here he is. Trout number five today. This guy's only 40 centimeters, but it's in nice condition. Caught right behind the boat. So we're getting back in the water. They'll still be there. Oh. Little jack bike. Now guys, there's the benefit of using a wire trace. This little Mr. Pikey absolutely engulfed my Rapala. I can get it back out without doing any damage to him. We're leaving it into his mouth. There we go. Look at that little guy. That's a funny looking trout. <laughs> oh, nearly fell over. So thank you for stopping by little buddy. We'll get you back. Miniature predator. Now guys, so it's been a fun morning out here. I'm I'm doing my best this year now for the for the from the trout season on to talk through the days a bit more. I'm obviously lads don't want to just watch fish and stretch through for the whole video. They like to hear what's going on and what's working and what's not working. And it's nice to have a chat to the camera and kind of let people see how well, how things are going. So we're currently at half twelve. I think we have five trout and one little pike who thought he was a trout. But I'm yeah I'm picking up uh, Rafael there later on. In the evening, and um, he's coming out for two or three hours. My girlfriend's father. Um, hopefully, we can get one or two trout for him. But um, yeah, good day so far. There's actually a club competition on as well today, so we'll see what gets caught later on. Anyway, I'm. Um, I'll see. I might go to the weigh-in later on. We'll see how everyone got on. I'd say there was a few big trout caught today, and um, there was a good stir on early in the morning. Usually, when you get that aggressive wind, you know that really strong wind pushing into a bay, you uh, you get some big trout. The big trout come out to play, the ferox and, this, and the 50, 60 centimeter trout. That's when things get fun. But um, yeah, we're gonna turn the boat around, um, throughout the lures, might eat a bit of lunch and see where the day takes us. <laughs> oh guys, just letting the lure back out, or I just cast it out to be honest. And uh, something's after taking it, feels like a trout. Doesn't feel big, but it does feel like a trout, unless it's a perch. It's up on the surface back there, Usually a perch does that. Let's see now. Maybe we've done the three species. Oh, it's a nice perch. 
Easy to perch. Yeah, it's a perch. We get the nail. We'll compete with our species. Good stuff. <laughs> now guys, look at that for a perch. What a beauty. Big mo on him. He took the seven centimeter rapala. He's gorgeous. Really cool fish. I'm just gonna get a video releasing him on the phone. Cause he is lovely. There he goes. Oh, that's pretty cool. We uh, completed the three species uh, without even trying. It just happened by, by chance. Um, same thing happened last weekend. We got the three species as well. I um, took my mind off the losing the ferox now after catching the three of them. I love catching perch. You know, it's just cool. I, I grew up catching them. It's cool like that. Um, obviously, the pike was tiny, but we got some nice trout today. Um, we're targeting trout mainly today. Um, only today, to be honest. Everything else is more of a bycatch. Um, I know if I wanted to go catch pike now, I could catch a boatload of them. Um, but they are definitely in the shallows, getting up to their jiggy jiggy. So we'll leave them at it. Um, we'll leave them at it for a couple of weeks. We'll let her the trout for a while. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay fishing. It's currently 12.38. So we've had an active morning so far, so we'll stay going. Now so, in for the most important time of the day, ham sandwich time. <laughs> You'd be absolutely starving out there lads. I like coming in to recharge the batteries. Just get in out of it for 10 or 15 minutes. I pick it up, Rafael there soon, he's on his way out. He's coming out with me for two or three hours. So fingers crossed we get a one or two fish, but I'm... Um oh, small fish on, maybe it's a... Maybe it's a perch, yeah. What is that? That's a trout. Yeah. Little there. Yeah, baby. Lovely. Oh, lads, there he is. We're not even going to measure him. Really gorgeous looking fish. We're getting back. centimeters but they're really good condition and um, the second biggest was I think 48 centimeters I um, had one 40 centimeters a few in the 37 around that sort of size smaller guys you know I um, had a few small yucks that didn't even turn the camera on for <laughs> they weren't they weren't they weren't getting on YouTube but um yeah we had a the perch and we had a pike as well so we got the three species again it's nice to stay doing that you know at least you know you're able to do it consistently that's what you need for them big competitions and stuff like that but I'm, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to the club competition because I was actually part of the club competition there now. Um, it was just a trout fishing competition today, with local club competition. I'm going to see what the results were. I'd be interested to see how everyone got on. Um, I might just go over and check now how everyone got on and I'm going to put it into the end of this clip because um, I'll be raging now. If, if losing that ferox is after losing the competition for me, I'll be sickened. So we'll go over and see how we got on. Um, and yeah, it'd be nice to see what everyone caught anyway because... It was really good for the morning. Um, the wind was really good. Um, it was nice and rough and wild. The trout were just really aggressive and active. But then in the evening, the sun came out and the wind died, which is just a nightmare for trout fishing. So we'll go out and see how everyone got on and I'll keep you updated and, and we'll uh, keep you posted. Right lads, just back from the way in there now. So we came second in the trout competition. Second place. Um, I lost first place by four centimeters. So kind of raging. Um, if I landed the ferox, I would have won it, but um, I don't mind. It was just nice to uh, take part in it. I don't take part in too many competitions. I usually do one or two big ones a year. Um, but yeah, it's nice to just to freshen things up, you know. I, I was going out anyway, so it's all uh, 
they they give you the option with the club catch and release or some of the older lads like to, to keep their fish obviously they'll have them for dinner or that um, so they can keep them um, but they get they get uh, measured in the range in the club shed at the end of the day so that's how they do the trout competitions um, it's all on length uh, that's a new thing that came in recently so the winning fish was 54 centimeters it's to the v of the tail it's not to the longest point of your tail so the fish probably was about closer to 56 57 58 centimeters um, and the fella that i had was i think 52 centimeters uh to the longest point in the tail but he was about 51 to the to the v in the tail so he went down as 51 centimeters and and that was the length of the fish so yeah we came second good result um nice money towards a few more lures it's all on fishing tackle um but yeah good crack anyway we had the longest bag um and had the second longest fish um there's a few nice fish caught today i think the biggest was 54 then i had a 51 um and then i had a 48 and i think there was a 47 caught something like that yeah but everyone had a few fish um whoever went out anyway there's a few other clubs around the lake that had a competition today, so I'll be interested to see how they got on. I'm feeling one or two really big fish got caught, but you never know until um until you get to text and see what happens later on in the day. But yeah, it's just something different I brought to the channel. Um competition fishing. Um it's more of a local club competition, so it doesn't really doesn't really count too much. Um I might I might be doing predator battle at the end of the year, I don't know yet. I usually decide that late in the year. Um I'm doing a competition at the end of April with Paul up on Loch Ree. I think it's called the Nations Cup. Just something I got told about there last week. So we'll go up there and give that a lash. Um, I think it's a pike and perch competition. Um, so yeah, something different for the channel. Hopefully I'll get a bit of content from that. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, lads. I'm sorry to make you watch me lose another big fish at the net. I promise now I won't lose the next one at the net, but um, I don't mind. It's all catch and release anyway, so the fish are going back in the water regardless. It's just nice to get a bit of content for the channel. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video lads, drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, we're going to push as fast as we can up towards 10,000 subscribers, that's the goal, we'll try to get there by the end of the year anyway, um, fingers crossed now, all goes well, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all here next time.